Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Declarative Academy. If you're here, you're probably preparing for or maintaining your Salesforce certifications. And today we're diving into the Maintain Your Business Analyst Certification for Summer 2025 module. In this session, I'll walk you through the key updates, explain why they matter, and help you lock in the knowledge you need to stay current. Stick around until the end because we'll also cover the quiz together. By the time we're done, you'll be able to explain why Salesforce introduced a brand new setup domain, define how read-only users can now stay in the loop on CRM analytics and data pipeline recipe statuses, list accessibility improvements that support users with visual impairments, and describe how enhanced keyboard navigation makes working in Lightning App Builder smoother. You'll also see how quick filter setup for record type fields has been simplified. Learn about Salesforce Connect's new ability to support unlimited external data access. Understand why accurate label translations are so important for multilingual organizations. And finally, know when to use the new option for clearing scanned and mapped state and country data. Plenty to cover, so let's jump in. First, a quick reminder, if you hold the Business Analyst Certification, this module isn't optional. You'll need to complete it before the due date to keep your certification status active. Let's start with one of the bigger infrastructure changes. Salesforce has moved setup pages to a brand new domain, salesforce-setup.com. The reason is simple. Modern browsers are getting stricter about blocking third-party cookies, which can break embedded content in setup. By moving setup to its own domain, Salesforce ensures everything loads consistently and without issues. For most organizations, nothing needs to change. But if your company restricts access through firewalls or allow lists, your IT team will need to add this new domain. The change is coming to sandboxes in summer 2025 and then to production orgs from winter 2026. So it's worth checking in with IT early to avoid any disruptions. Next, a feature that improves collaboration. Read-only users in CRM analytics and data pipelines can now subscribe to recipe notifications. Before, only higher level users could monitor data recipes. Now, even those with read-only access can stay informed when a recipe completes or fails. This makes it easier for business analysts and teams to keep an eye on data quality, address problems quickly, and maintain trust in data pipelines without needing extra permissions. Accessibility also takes a big step forward. Salesforce has aligned more closely with the web content accessibility guidelines. At high magnification levels, headers now scroll with the page so they don't block content, and modal windows stay fully within the viewport, eliminating the need for awkward horizontal scrolling. These changes are especially important for users with visual impairments. Although the update will be enforced in spring 2026, you can enable and test it now through release updates to make sure your org is ready. On a related note, the Lightning App Builder has become easier to navigate using just the keyboard. With the Enter key, you can now activate component insertion icons, and with another press of Enter, you can select Edit or Delete highlighted components. This isn't just an accessibility improvement. It makes building and editing pages faster and more efficient for everyone. Another welcome improvement is the simplification of quick filters for record type fields. Previously, you had to manually type in record type names, which left room for typos or inconsistent filters. Now, you simply select the record types you need from a multi-select pick list. It's cleaner, faster, and much less error prone giving you more confidence in your filters. Perhaps the biggest functional update is with Salesforce Connect. Before, row and callout limits created roadblocks when working with large data sets. Those restrictions have now been removed for supported adapters like Odata, GraphQL, DynamoDB, Amazon Athena, and Snowflake. What this means is that you can now connect to and work with virtually unlimited external data in real time building richer integrations and more powerful analytics without duplicating data across platforms. Salesforce has also refreshed label translations across a wide range of languages, from Arabic and Chinese through to Spanish, Swedish, and Ukrainian. For multinational organizations, these updated translations mean clearer, culturally accurate labels 
ensuring that users around the globe can work with Salesforce more effectively and without confusion. And finally, to keep your data clean and consistent, Salesforce has introduced the option to clear scanned and mapped state and country pick list data. This is especially useful if you're migrating from old free text fields into structured pick lists. Instead of trying to manually adjust mismatched entries, you can now clear them out in bulk and start fresh with standardized values. The result is cleaner address data and fewer headaches when it comes to territory management or reporting. Now let's put all of this into practice with the quiz. Question one. What is the purpose of Salesforce moving setup pages to the new salesforce.com domain? A, it allows Lightning Web components to function correctly within setup pages. B, it limits access to setup features so that only admins can make changes. C, it turns off access to setup when using Salesforce Classic. D, it ensures that setup pages in Lightning Experience load correctly when browsers block cookies. The correct answer is a D. This whole change is about ensuring pages load smoothly, even when browsers block third-party cookies. Question two, what new capability do read-only users have in CRM analytics and data pipelines? A, editing recipes. B, subscribing to recipe notifications. C, viewing data sets. D, creating dashboards. The correct answer is B, they can now subscribe to recipe notifications. Question three, what accessibility issue is resolved by the updated behavior of modal windows at 200% magnification? A, content extending beyond the viewport. B, flickering screen. C, unresponsive buttons. D, missing alt text. The answer is A, modal windows now keep all content inside the viewport, so no more overflow. Question four, which keyboard action can now be used to insert components in Lightning App Builder? A tab plus shift, B, enter, C, control plus S, D, escape key. The answer is B, enter. That's the key for inserting or managing components. Question five, how has the record type filter setup in related lists been simplified? A, filters are now automatically generated. B, record types are entered as exact text. C, record types can be selected from a multi-select pick list. D, admins can set filters in a few steps. The answer is C, you now choose record types from a multi-select pick list. Question six, what is the key benefit of the recent updates to Salesforce Connect? A, support for IoT devices. B, real-time syncing with external mobile apps. C, built-in machine learning for external objects. D, removal of row and callout limits for supported adapters. The answer is D, Salesforce removed the row and callout limits. Question seven, why is it important for business analysts to review updated label translations? A, to increase available file storage for your org. B, to help reduce overall licensing expenses. C, to ensure clear, culturally accurate user experiences. D, to enable developer sandbox access. The answer is C, it's all about clear and culturally accurate user experiences. Question eight, when should you use the option to clear state and country pick list mappings? A, when individual mapping edits aren't feasible. B, when renaming pick list fields. C, when mappings conflict with custom fields. D, when deleting address records. The correct answer is A, use this when individual edits just aren't practical. And that brings us to the end of the module. Let's quickly recap. We've seen how Salesforce has introduced a new setup domain for smoother performance, expanded recipe notifications to read-only users, delivered accessibility improvements for both visual navigation and keyboard use, and made quick filters easier to set up. We've also looked at how Salesforce Connect now supports unlimited external data, how translations have been refreshed for global usability, and how state and country pick list data can be cleared to improve accuracy. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more Salesforce learning with the Declarative Academy, and drop your questions or thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for tuning in, and best of luck maintaining your certification. We've got this. See you in the next session.